Hello and welcome to the Goodman 9-speed furnace commissioning presentation. Uh, this will cover setting up the single and multi-stage Goodman 9-speed furnaces that no longer use dip switches on the board. This presentation will be covering both the single stage GM9S and the multi stage GM9C units. When you first look at this unit, the first thing you will notice is that on the board there are no longer any tiny little dip switches uh, to adjust your fan speed profiles uh, and your staging parameters. These adjustments are all now made uh, through a three-digit digital display and the left, center, right buttons on the front of the board. And these are all of the different settings that we can adjust with our three-digit display. And this is how we adjust the continuous fan settings for the nine-speed furnace. Uh, we simply go uh, to our three-digit display here and we press the left button and we toggle through the settings until we come to F S D. That will be our constant fan speed profile selection, FSD. Then we will press the center button to display what profile we have set here. Now this is set on profile number two. Now if I want to change that, I either hit left or right to go up or down. If I want to change that to profile number three, I just uh, change it to that and then I hit the center button to lock that in. One more time to return to the menu and then I can toggle back to idle. Now, of course, I don't have to toggle back to idle. Uh, if I just let that sit for a minute, it will go back. Uh, as with the other airflow profiles, um, the numbers are all listed on a chart in the I and O manual. Uh, and that is how you set the continuous fan adjustment on a nine speed furnace. So for heat staging setup, this setting will only apply to the multi-stage units, the GM9C. We're going to go ahead and hit our left arrow until we come upon AH5. AH5, and then we will go ahead and press the center button. And right now it says no, which means this is dedicated as a two-stage furnace. It will never see a high fire call for heat until we energize W2. And if I wanna change that, I can go over here and change it to automatic which means it will automatically adjust to second stage after a certain amount of time, or I can set it on a specific time. I can set it for 60 minutes, 30, 20, or 10. Let's say I want to set it to 10, hit the center button uh, to confirm 10, hit the center button again to lock it in, and now I can press the center button to return to our, our menu. <clears throat> and we're all set. Okay, now we're going to set our cooling airflow profiles. And we can set them for first stage cooling or second stage cooling. We'll hit our left arrow until we get to AC one or AC2, depending on which one you want to set first. We'll set AC2 first here. Uh, we'll press our center button after we have selected that. 
and we have uh, profile number five, airflow setting five. If you want to change that, you can just toggle up uh, or down using your right and left arrows. Once you find the setting you want to use, hit the center button to confirm that. Center button again to lock it in. Uh, and now you're back to your, your main menu. And you can toggle back to uh, AC1. We can set that as well. Same pr process, just hit the center button. Toggle up, toggle down, hit center to confirm, center to lock it in, uh, and we are all set. And now we're going to set our heating mode fan speeds. Uh, we'll start toggling through our menu with our left arrow. And on a single stage furnace, you want to go to 9AF. 9 airflow. On a two stage unit like we have here, we want to go to both 9A2 and 9A1. 9A1 will set our airflow for first stage heat. 9A2 will set our airflow for second stage heat. So I selected my center button here. If I want to change this airflow profile, I can go up or down with that. Once I select the airflow setting I want, I press the center button to confirm it. Center button again to lock it in and take me back to my menu. I can do the same with second stage heating. Um, 9A2, go in with my center button, change it with right or left depending on where I want to be, and select it with the center button and lock it in and go back to main menu again with the center button one more time. And now I have set both my first and second stage heating airflow uh, set points. Okay, and now we're gonna take a look at setting our fan delays for cooling. So I will press my left arrow or my left button here to start toggling through my menu. Uh, and I want to get to CND, which will be my cooling airflow delay on. That's how many seconds am I going to delay the airflow in the cooling mode. And I'll hit my center button to select that. Right now I have that set for seven seconds. If I want to increase that delay to say 14 seconds, I can do that. And I just hit the center button to lock that in or I'm sorry, center button to confirm, center button to lock it in and go back to the main menu. And now I've set my uh, cooling airflow delay on. If I want to keep toggling through my menu, I will also find cooling airflow delay off, which is CFD. <clears throat> Once I select that, I can go into that option with the center button. I have a 65 second uh, cooling fan off delay, which means my fan's gonna run for 65 seconds after my call for cooling's terminated. I can go in and adjust that. Say I wanna take it back to 50 seconds. I can do that just by using my left and right buttons to select a different time. I'll confirm that with the center button, lock it in with one more push and be back into my, my menu. Now I have that set as well. Now we're going to set the heating fan delay. Again, I use my left arrow here to start toggling through my menu. And I wanna to get to, whoops, I just went past it. 9ND, that would be my um, fan delay on for heating. How long am I gonna wait for that fan to come on on a call for heat? I'll go into that menu with my center button. Right now I have a 30 second uh, fan on time delay and heating. If I want to change that, I just use my left and right arrows to go up or down. Looks like uh, 30 is my maximum. I can adjust that down so it comes on sooner. Let's say I want to change it to 20. I will hit my center button to confirm that. Center button again to lock it in and go back to main menu. 
Now I, uh, I can also set a fan off delay uh, for heating as well. And that menu would be 9FD. And I can toggle back to that in the menu here. There is 9FD. That's my fan delay on the off side of the heating cycle. So I'll enter that with the center button and it's set right now at 90 seconds. If I wanna change that, I can use that by using the left or right buttons. Uh, I've got it set to 120 seconds of fan off delay time now. I can confirm that with the center button and then I can lock it in and go back to my menu with one more push of that center button. And now I have my heating fan delay settings set as well. And that concludes our presentation on the Goodman 9-speed furnace configuration and setup. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to one of our local Johnstone Supply branches, Waterloo or Cedar Rapids. And as always, we thank you for your business.